How are you today? In this series, I intend to keep up with the top 10 or the top hits for 50 years ago this week. And I've been following the top 10 for 50 years ago this week for a little bit. And the truth is that a lot of the same songs stay on the top 10 for a long time back in 1972. Some of these songs have been in the top 10 for four or five months. So there's, there's a lot less rollover back then. And honestly, I put this together. I didn't listen to it yet. I, don't, I didn't recognize some of these songs, which is kind of surprising to me, but it shouldn't be. Everything I know about 70s rock came from rock radio stations. Q95, WFBQ, Indianapolis, probably taught me everything I know about 70s rock. All right, so I'm gonna to listen to the first one in 10th position. Your Mama Don't Dance by Kenny Loggins and Messina. And I think we all know Kenny Loggins was on fire in the 80s. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to mute out the songs and stuff or I'll get hit for being a rule breaker. But I'll be right back. Loggins and Messina, Your Mama Don't Dance. Okay, well, that was kind of surprising, kind of surprising. It was a, it was a pretty standard shuffle. It was a it was a boogie. Just it was just your bog standard boogie. The arrangement was I mean appealing, but not complex. And the guitar solo was trash. But it was catchy. You know, it was a straight-up pop song. Okay. Ninth position, Curtis Mayfield, Superfly. Superfly, Curtis Mayfield, legitimately dope. Like that, that's legitimately good. It had a key change, and then it had a whole ending part. He he sings like Pharrell. That that's really good. That's really good. In ninth position, Curtis Mayfield, killing the game, killing the game. Next, rocking pneumonia. And the boogie woogie flute. This 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 is top. This is eight. Rockin' pneumonia. Maybe I haven't I haven't heard rockin' pneumonia and the boogie woogie flute for a long time. Maybe it's good. You know, it could be a banger. Rockin' Pneumonia and the Boogie Woogie Flute by Johnny Rivers. That was, a, that was, it gives me real Jeremiah was a bullfrog vibes. Real talk, Jeremiah was a bullfrog. And um, verse chorus, verse chorus, piano solo, chorus, guitar solo. And the guitar solo was bad enough, they faded it out. You know? He got he got 12 seconds into that guitar solo. And the mixer guy was like. Okay, that's a wrap, guys. I think that's what happened. Now, I Am Woman by Helen Reddy. And this one has been, spoiler alert, all over. This one hit number one earlier this year. I am woman. Then I know I've listened to it 
a few months ago or something, and I can't, I can't really remember what it sounds like. That's just, it just didn't make much impression on me, but it's probably dope because it hit number one. All right, that was I Am Woman by Helen Reddy. And I mean, it killed 50 years ago. It, it hit just the right vibe. And the messed up part is it's, you know, with the weird things going on today, it would almost kill again. It doesn't have the right vibe, though. The vibe would have to change a lot. But the same message would kill right now. 50 years later. It was verse, chorus, verse, chorus. They pretend they're going to give you a key change, and then they don't. They go right back, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, outro. Okay. The next one, Funny Face by Donna Fargo. And it was 14th the week before. Funny Face, Donna Fargo. That was terrible. I mean, just objectively terrible, I think. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I lost my list somehow. Mmm, that was bad. That was really extremely bad. It, it was bad in all the ways it can be bad. Uh, they, they, even, they even had a Disney key change, you know? It was like they didn't have any ideas, and this thing still, I mean... This, this song in particular is a pretty good song to bring up if somebody says that music was so much better back in the 70s because this is not that's that might as well be pop country it's that bad wow okay that that was six number five it never rains in southern california by albert hammond Okay, okay, It Never Rains in Southern California by Albert Hammond. And, you know, it's a catchy little pop tune. It's verse, chorus, verse, chorus, flute solo, verse, chorus, flute outro. That was a little surprise. The flute thing was kind of surprising. It's, uh, it's needlessly happy. Just like things that come from California are unnecessarily happy. It's got that unnecessarily happy vibe, so they killed it on the name. The name fits the song, but it's not very good. It's not, it's not very good. If you heard it, you'd probably recognize it. It's not very good. If you heard it in like a TGI Fridays. Uh, You're So Vain by Carly Simon. I'm familiar with this one. It's a hit. So, You're So Vain by Carly Simon. That's a killer. Straight killer. It, totally useless guitar solo in the middle, but it goes verse, chorus, verse, chorus, guitar solo, verse, chorus, and then 
bring in the strings and that's that was a bad idea the strings could have been left out of that whole arrangement useless still a hit though a hit and I'll tell you something else that's that's a lot of nipple that she's showing on the front cover like that's it's like the focus is they put the nipple right in the middle you couldn't miss it the next song you ought to be with me by Al Green Al Green was killing it. Al Green was killing the game. He's walking all over the place. You know, he's going anywhere he wants to go. If he wants it to go there, he takes it there. Non-formulaic. It was beautiful. Al, baby, you killed it. You killed it. Okay. Claire, by Gilbert. You ought to be with me by Al Green. That was the most... That was the most outstanding of the bunch so far. Claire by Gilbert O. Sullivan. Let's let's hear it, Claire. No, no, no. 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 Claire, Gilbert O. Sullivan, that was terrible. That was that was the worst. Okay? It couldn't be worse than that. That was like if the monkeys decided to write a song that wasn't serious. It was the same old chord progression. The rhymes were so unbelievably whack. I, I hope that that one is not on the top tens next year in 1973 next year compared to this i hope that one's not around that one was bad gilbert o'sullivan that was terrible and that was the number two spot okay for all the for everybody saying 50 years ago music was so much better i'm starting to have a lot of hesitation about a viewpoint like that. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to hold that against Gilbert O'Sullivan personally. I'm not. He doesn't. He's not going to have that kind of energy over me. Okay, that, I mean, that was a killer, okay? That was, that was an absolute killer by Billy Paul. And I think, you know, I pretty much knew what I was getting into when it started, but I didn't know it was going to go that hard. It was, that's a hit, okay? That's the top. It's well done. I hope. I hope Billy Paul's all over the top of the charts next year in 1973. I'll tell you that much. Okay, so the top 10, you know, good and poppy, good and poppy, uh, but Superfly and You Ought to Be With Me and me and mrs jones were really the hits you're so vain was good but I, it wasn't you know there wasn't a lot to it those were the those were the songs on the list that were kind of interesting and and well composed okay well that was an adventure i am gonna do this again next week come with me on the adventure 
the top tens 50 years ago. Was it really? Was it really better 50 years ago? I'm not sure. This week, I'm not sure about that because there was some, there was some dregs. Okay, have a good day.